and today we are going to see the multiple choice questions on Laplace transform and we'll see the example number 7 and 8 here. So let us see here example number 7 is the Laplace transform of the function sin square 2t is given by. So we are having this four option. So first of all we use the trigonometric formula for this sin square 2t and we write down into the simple form and then we take the Laplace transform. I suppose you know the formula sin square t it is given by 1 minus cos 2t by 2. So therefore I can write the sin square 2t that will be given by it is what 1 minus I have to replace the t with the 2t 1 minus it is what cos 4t by it is 2. Now take the Laplace transform to both the side. Now here 1 by 2 is constant we can take outside Laplace transformation of 1 it is given by 1 by s minus then Laplace transformation of cos 4t is it is s upon s square plus it is square of 4 it is 16. You should know the basic formula that is how we get the Laplace transformation for that particular function. We simplify this fraction. I just take a cross multiplication. It is s square plus 16 minus s square upon that it is s into s square plus it is 16. So here s square get cancelled. 16 by 2 it is what 8. So if you compare the option b is the correct option. b is correct. Example number 8 it is the Laplace transform of t square minus 2t into u of t minus 1 is. This is the four options. Now you can solve this question two ways. I will tell you the both the ways. You should know the formula Laplace transform of f of t minus a u of t minus a equals to e to the power minus a s into f of s. So how we write on this formula for this u of t minus a we write on the e to the power minus a s and then for this f of t minus a I exclude this minus a then find out Laplace transform of this f of t and that we write down here it is what f of s. Now if you compare this function with this one so we are having this u of t minus a which is u of t minus a we require a function in terms of t minus a but it is not in terms of t minus a that is t minus 1. So what we do here I can write down this function as it is what t minus 1 whole square minus 1. How it is if you just square it this will be what t square minus 2t plus 1 then I am taking the subtraction with the minus 1 because I have only t square minus 2t here and this is multiplied to it is what u of t minus 1. Now we have converted this function t square minus 2t into it is what t minus 1 form. So now we can take the Laplace transformation of this quantity and that will be given by for this u of t minus 1 I write down the e to the power minus s as we have written for the u of t minus a it is e to the power minus a s then finding the Laplace transform of this f of t. So here you exclude this minus 1 this will be what t square the Laplace transform of t square is what 2 upon it is s cube then minus the Laplace transform of 1 is what 1 by s. So this is the required Laplace transform. So if you compare the option a is the correct option we are having. Now I will tell you how I calculate the Laplace transformation of t square. So for that you should do the formula Laplace transformation of t to the power n it is given by n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 and we are finding the Laplace transform of t square that will be given by 2 factorial upon s to the power 2 plus 1 and that is 2 upon s cube. Now this is the one way of finding the Laplace transform of this function. There is another way I usually prefer that formula which is Laplace transform of f of t into u of t minus a equals to e to the power minus a s Laplace transform of f of t plus a. So what is the difference here? There is no need to convert the function as a t minus a because here directly we can get the Laplace transformation. Just you have to write the Laplace of u of t minus a as u to the power minus a s. Then find out the Laplace transformation of f of t plus a. We are having the f of t, t we replace by it is what t plus a because we are having this t minus a. Then find out its Laplace transform, you will get the answer. And in this case, here we are having the u of t minus 1. So we will replace the t with t plus 1. And then we will find out the Laplace transformation of that function multiplied with the u of t minus 1 whose Laplace transformation is what? e to the power minus a s. So I suppose you can try this. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you get something from it, please like and share the video with your friend. Please do subscribe to the channel Mathematics Getting Sangraha.